Hi, I'm Tom Brewster, I'm 22 years old and I'm the team captain of Team Toron. Uh, I'm a recent uni graduate where I graduated with a masters in computer games design and I'm here with my old man. <laughs> and I'm Tim Brewster, here with my little lad, fulfilling a promise made many years ago during series one that one day we would actually be on Robot Wars. Yeah, <laughs> I'm one of those guys that watched Robot Wars when I was a kid and of course I've always wanted to go on it and I figured that all it takes is like, what, 10 years of just pestering your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or pestering your dad? Yeah, and eventually, like, you end up spending thousands of pounds mm. and you, you build a, a robot. Oh, that's good. And this is the, uh, the full-scale wooden prototype, fully functioning prototype of Toron. And now what makes Toron unique is that we believe it's uh, one of the uh, very few fully invertible vertical bar spinners that there is. So what makes it invertible is the fact that we built it in two sections. So we've got the drive section in the back and the weapon section is all out front. And the two sections are connected at a pivot over here. And we're going to show you how it's invertible. So give it a lift. So when it's upside down, this is what it'll look like. Um, and it can run perfectly fine that way up. So Toron is equipped with this very large 20 kilogram vertical spinning bar. And of course, we won't be able to test that at full speed until we actually, actually get into the arena itself. So yeah. that'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and another uh, good point about this is that um, because we have this uh, control with a speed controller, it can spin in either direction. So inverted, it can spin in reverse. So it will always be spinning upwards, which we believe will inflict uh, a fair amount of damage, but also kind of flip other robots as well, as we've seen in the show a few times. We started building Tour on uh, the early part of this year after Tom went up for the uh, for the filming of the new series one in Glasgow, uh, and we've been building uh, all, all year so far. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's been. It's been a fun, expensive journey so far, um, but we're, we're, we've done really quite well, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, the fully metal version is now in, in fabrication, so it's actually mm. on course for uh, for this uh, this season. Yeah. And just um, just as a bit of a taster, there's a there's a video here of uh, of uh, Toron in action. <laughs> And as you can see, uh, we've done some weight testing here. So yep. my, my friend here may have sat on it whilst we drive it around. We, we assume that isn't required in the arena. No, maybe not. Like I don't I don't think a human would do very well, to be honest. Like <laughs> it might get a bit messy. <laughs> the uh, the name Toron is a mixture of uh, Taurus the bull and automaton, of course. So uh, we really think it's going to be really entertaining charging mm. around the arena with its big bludgeoning weapon at, <laughs> at, at the front. It is very quick. It's going to be a full weight robot when it's done fully in steel. Um, oh, it, yeah. it manoeuvres very well indeed, as you've seen from the video. Mm. Um, it's going to be a, a real, real sight charging around. So here is a, a rendering of our CAD. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's looking, it's looking alright really. Um, and we're at the point where we can really start bolting it together and, and you know. We'll have something metal rolling around within a couple of weeks, for sure. The, the final design has a lot of trace work and stuff on the on the side panels uh, through which you can see the internal lights. It's uh, it's going to look quite showy, isn't it? Oh yeah, I think that that was we're that was a deliver. that was a big part of, of the design of yeah. this. That we we want it to be uh, really quite entertaining. We wanted to look we wanted to look really good on TV, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. Um, that that's that's a big part of it, really. Yeah, we wanted to be a crowd pleaser. We've got top specification components for the uh, weapon system. Yeah, and uh, the, the 500 pounds will be spent on the weapon drivetrain so that we can get uh, the best performance out of all of our components, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is Toron. Um, we very much hope to be competing in uh, Robot Wars 2 starting in December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I hit, we've got our, our website here, our Twitter and Facebook. Um, and if we go on, I've been I've been told that my mum is going to bake some cakes, mm, so cakes we, good. we might we might actually bring those. To be honest, if, if they're no good, we'll we'll smash them up with Toron. Right? It's fine. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, thank you very much. Cheers.